2006 question in gate 2006 they have asked now try to give me the answer of that so the question is saying that consider the following c program segment in which i and j and n are the integer variable i j and n are integer variables for i equal to n j equal to 0 i greater than 0 and i is i for dividing by 2 j equal to j plus i okay so the val the val j val j means value at j denotes the value is stored in the variable j denotes the variable is stored in value j after termination after termination of the for loop after termination of the for loop the value that will be in j it is denoted by val j which of the following is true so out of the four options which of the following means they are asking the value of j okay you have to tell me what is going to be the value of j so first try you people see here i is here n j is equal to 0 i greater than 0 okay i is going to greater than 0 and then you are reducing this is the initialization then condition check then you are going to do the increment or decrement okay this is there now i is equal to n j is equal to 0 so first i is going to your i is going to your 0 and j sorry i is going to your n i is going to n and j is equal to 0 okay i is going to n and j is equal to 0 i greater than 1 i greater than 0 yes n is greater than 0 i am assuming that n is greater than 0 okay so it is greater than 0 so it will go inside the loop so it will do some work so inside that see here after that there is a comma semicolon semicolon so what does mean this mean that for like this this is just this is statement okay See, so these things are the part of a C language. Whenever uh, your faculty, whatever faculty is teaching you C, if you see here, after for loop, if you are given a semicolon, it means you are terminating this loop. So it will run. It will run. This for loop will run like this. That this will execute, and the line, the statement is the empty statement that the for loop is going to execute. Okay. So it is just going to execute this. Then again, then again, it will go to the control. The control will go to here. The control will go to here. So first initialization then condition check then it will go inside the body then after the body it will go here okay like this so here it is not doing i equal to i by 2 so i equal to i by 2 is n by 2 then j is equal to j plus see j plus j plus i j plus i is 0 plus n by 2 then again condition is going to check i is greater than 0 let's assume i is greater than 0 okay so n by 2 is greater than 0 okay n by 2 is greater than 0 then it will go inside the body inside the body nothing is happening empty statement is there then it will again decrease the i equal to n by 2 so that now it's going to 2 is square okay now again j will add j plus i see j plus i j plus i so now j is your 0 plus n by 2 plus n by 2 is square so like this again i will get decreased by 2 2 to the power 3 j is going to your n by 2 n by 2 is square plus n by 2 to the power 3 like this so it's it will keep on going so i will go like n by 2 to the power k n by 2 to the power k so j will go like n by 2 plus n by 2 is square plus n by 2 to the power 3 then n by 2 to the power 4 like this it will go till n by 2 to the power k to the power k so when this 2 to the power k is equal to 1 when this 2 to the power k is equal to 1 then is going to this condition is going to your i is going to your 1 and 1 is greater than 0 1 is greater than 0 see the condition is i should be greater than 0 yeah it's greater than 0 it will again go inside the loop then again it will reduce 1 by 2 it will happen then 1 by 2 it will happen then it will be 0 now g uh, sorry 1 by 2 is going to be 0 0.5 0 0.5 is not greater than 0 0 0.5 is not greater than 0 so then it will not go inside the loop okay so before that it this is going to be 1 okay this is going to be 1 so let let 2 to the power k is equal to n so when this 2 to the power k is going to n then only n by n is going to become 1 so for which value of k it is going to your uh, n so log n base 2 log n base 2 like this it will go so j will go see here you are even going to add 0 0.5 that i am not adding okay because after that this condition is true this condition is true then after that it will be happen 0 0.5 now 0 0.5 
Now, 0 0.5 is still greater than 0. Is it still greater than 0? Still greater than 0. But what we are doing, we are just, again, it will go decreased. Okay. So, it will, somehow it will get decreased by, it will get decreased to means less than 0. Okay. So, as I assume totic wise, since in the option they are saying as a theta wise, so I am taking till when 2 to k means this term n by 2 to k is equal to 1 till that time I am going to take. Okay. So if here I am not going to find the exact value 2 to k is equal to n then n by 2 to k we need to make as 1 then it will get. Okay. So now j is going to your n by 2 plus n by 2 1 n by 2 to 2 till till n by 2 to k. Now it is in the, the sum is in it is uh, it should be 2 the sum is in gp see the sum is going to in gp here a is going to your here a is going to your n by 2 r is going to your 1 by 2 because it is getting reduced by decrease divided by 1 by 2 1 by 2 see the common difference is going the r is going to your n by 2 square by n by 2 so n by 2 square then 2 by n okay see it will get cancelled so you are going to get 1 by 2 okay so sum of this gp is going to your sum of this gp is going to your tell me what is going to be the sum so sum is going to your sn is going to your a into r to the power n minus 1 minus r to the power n because here because here r is smaller Okay. r is smaller than 0 so it is going to 1 minus r to the power n 1 minus r please let me know whether it is clear or not so a is your n by 2 1 r is your 1 by 2 to the power k 1 2 3 till it is going to be k and 1 minus 1 by 2 okay, like this it is going okay Please let me know. Yeah, Imam is saying clear, sir. Fine. Anyone having any doubt, then you can ask me. Okay. So I am reducing this part, that R part. Erasing that. Okay. So, so it is going to your n by this is going to your half n by two <coughs> uh, one minus one by two k is your log n base 2 log n base 2 and since half it is going to get cancelled so you are going to get n into 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power log n base 2 so in asymptotic wise you are going to get theta in asymptotic wise you are going to get theta so that's why in j you are going to get the value as theta because j is adding n by 2 then n by 2 square then n by 2 to the power 3 then n by 2 to the power 4 like 2 to the power k it is going like this it will go till 2 to the power k you are making it as 1 to just to get our answer is a in a simplified way just to simplify it we are making that n by 2 to the power k should be 1 okay is it clear to all of you please let me know whether it is clear or not doubt doubt to bully or video ko share kiya ki apne dosto ke saath जो गेट के तैयारी कर रहे हैं या फिर कॉलेज में हैं, so those who are studying in your college or those who want to learn algorithm or gate experiment, you can share the video with them so that they can also learn the subject. Okay? Anyone having any doubt? Is it clear to all of you? So it is going to your theta n. It is going to your theta n. So theta n, C is the correct. 